Hello. I'm getting ready to go for a walk in the forest. I think I've thought of everything. I even brought a watch so I know when it's time to eat my snack and return home. It's very handy to know how to tell time. Do you know how to tell time on a clock? Watch this video to find out how or to refresh your memory. On a clock, there are always at least two hands, the little hand, which is the hour hand, and the big hand, which is the minute hand. The little hand goes around the clock twice a day. A day starts at night when the little hand and the big hand both point to the top of the clock. The day starts at midnight or 12 a.m. I must look at the numbers from 1 to 12 to read the hours. Since it's the first part of the day, we call these hours a.m. The little hand goes around to 1 at 1 o'clock a.m., to 2 at 2 o'clock a.m., to 3 at 3 o'clock a.m., and so on, until it points to 12 again at the very top of the clock. When this happens, it's now noon or 12 p.m., and the little hand has made its first complete turn of the clock. The second turn of the clock now begins. Since this is the second part of the day, we now call these hours p.m. The time is 1 o'clock p.m., 2 o'clock p.m., 3 o'clock p.m., and so on until the little hand finishes its rotation at midnight or 12 a.m. And it's the start of a brand new day. Look closely at this clock in this picture. The little hand, the hour hand, points to six. The big hand, the minute hand, is at 12 at the very top of the clock. This means that it's either exactly six o'clock in the a.m. or six o'clock in the p.m. Since the little boy is eating cereal, I'll guess it's morning. This means that the hour hand is still making its first turn around the clock and that it's not yet noon. So it must be 6 o'clock a.m. As the minutes move, the big hand also progresses along each small line on the clock. Each time the big hand moves forward by one small line, this means that one minute has passed. When the big hand points to three, it means that 15 minutes have passed. On this clock, I see that the hands point to six hours and 15 minutes, which is also called a quarter past six or 6.15. When the big hand points straight down towards the six, it means that it's 6.30, which is also called half past six. Did you notice the little hand? It's no longer on the six. It's halfway between six and seven because it's been moving very slowly at the same time as the big hand. Look, do you see? The hands are now pointing to six hours and 45 minutes, which we can read as 6.45 or 45 minutes past six. When the minute hand has completed one full revolution of the clock, the hour hand points to the next number. This is the start of a new hour. It's now seven o'clock. Are you ready to read the time with me one last time? The little hand points slightly past 10. The big hand points to six. Since the little girl is asleep in bed, I know it's probably nighttime. The hour hand is now making its second turn of the clock today, so it's in the p.m. Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's 10.30 p.m. Amazing! Now, keep practicing telling the time on a clock, at school, or at home. Soon, you'll be able to use a watch like mine to make sure you're always on time. See you soon. It's time for me to head off for my walk in the forest. Music